craft brewery. Very proud to say that this has been a brewery that's been set up by home brewers, for beer enthusiasts, and we're here at their brewery to give you a little tour. We're going to speak to the founder and the head brewer here. So, without further ado, let's pass the camera over. Okay. This is Sora. This here we here with Sora Patwardhan, and he's the man behind the ever popular Kimaya restaurant. And now he's even cooler now because he has Kimaya beer now. <laughs> and the first thing that we want to ask you, I guess, John, this has been a question on our minds. Yeah. That this <coughs> is technically obviously a craft brewery, but it's called a boutique brewery or a boutique beer. Can you explain? A little bit about the reason yeah. behind that. So, a couple of things about my brewery. First of all, it's a very small size brewery. I mean, you guys have been all over the country. And you can check my fermenter size. It's pretty small. Why don't we start with the brew house? Okay, you want to start with the brew house? Yeah, brew this brew. move over here. This is, this is the hot liquor tank, HLD. Completely locally fabricated. Completely made in Chirangu. This is a 100% make in Maharashtra project. Nothing is important, not even a screw wood. So this is where we boil our water. This is the second part of Mashkin. Yep. There is a place where the grains grow or go in. And this is the loiter tank. We have a Mashkin and a loiter tank in the same vessel. This is right. more of an American system. Yep. You don't find it. I mean, I, I think Independence Brewing Company has a similar system. Otherwise, there are two vessels, a loiter tank and a Mashkin. So after your mashing is done, the board, which is the sweet part of it, goes in the boiling kettle. Boil kettle will do a boiling for about 60 to 90 minutes. John, this is a direct fire system. You don't have any steam jackets. The, the, you can heat the uh, boiling water or the wood directly from the gas. Okay. So once the boil is complete, we shift our gears using the uh, heat exchanger. Yeah, heat exchanger to the fermenter. Now the fermenters are very small. These are just 400 liters fermenter. All the vessels are 200 meters per minute. So what we plan to do is double batching system. I guess no one is doing that, but it's a pretty common practice in the US. It saves you a lot of energy, investment, everything. So once the batch is complete, we don't clean the vessels. We immediately put a repeated uh, batch into the mash tin and just move all the board uh, in the fermenter. There are four, four, 400 meters, just two of them will arrive today evening. Hopefully some technical issues being Locally fabricated, we are still doing jugad. Being a home brewer, I like doing that kind of stuff all the time. And then once the beer is fermented, I can uh, get my glass. So we have two beers right now, summer A, right. which we are pouring tomorrow uh, at Van Tang. That's gone through my sampling wall, I want to touch it. The second is a hockey gone of the whole uh, flower Amerigo hops. I mean, this is nice. This is typically a little on the English IPA side. This right? is on the English IPA side. This is very much on the English IPA side. Yeah. IBU is not more than 25. Very drinkable, very sessionable, but a beautiful aroma. Citrusy, um, raw mangoes, season yeah, of mangoes. Something wrong. Something wrong. Season of mangoes. I, I like mangoes. I, I like the raw mangoes. We call it kaili in Marathi. So, giving you that kind of aroma. We, we, we buy this kind of beer. Sure. Stay it all yours. And <laughs> how about you introduce us to your head brewer? Sure. The man who makes the beer. So, this is the man who makes all the beers with my brother Samir. He is not here. He's, he's busy in the meeting. So, Jagannath, he's, he's worked really hard. He comes from the Marathwada region of Maharashtra. And that's, that's what we do. See, craft brewing is not just about making beers which are which are different than the lagers. It's about employing local youth. It's and about... He's from a farming, farming uh, He's from a farming background. He's from a farming background and he's a microbiologist. Who completed his uh, brewing BSc at Vasantada Institute. Right. And he makes wonderful beers. I mean, I, I you guys can try it out and review us on Facebook sure, and Instagram sure, yeah, starting sure. tomorrow. Sure, so, but yeah, but back to the craft brewing story. This is, I personally, I think this is what craft brewing is about. Like using local ingredients, using local employment, creating local employment, right. making a make in Maharashtra, make in India project. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it is, it's just an ecosystem which you create out of the land. Someday I dream to make a grain to glass project in this part of city. 
I don't know when will that be possible, but we are doing trial batches on barley, uh, six row barley. We want to get to two row eventually. But a grain to glass project is my dream, and someday hopefully it will happen. So honestly, nothing in here is is important, is it? Nothing, nothing except for the hops. Except for the hops. But uh, we have we have contact. I, I mean, Amar Amar has done a few contracts with guys in Himachal. So hopefully they turn up. Good. I mean. I don't know the climate was in was not actually in Europe. No, there was in fact no was this we are actually like in 1883. I think hops from India won an award in Amsterdam. Right. In really? Italy. But it's a pity that there's nothing being done around here. That's ironic. Yeah, it's exactly what I think. That's this ironic. Is, this is your great class approach. I think one of the key things is to get the hops right. True. I'm sure there are a lot of efforts. True. True. I have proved she did a dissertation on oh. hops at the heavy water. I have a good mind. That's why you're doing it. I, I, I think John, we are doing a beer pe baate kind of a thing soon. Beer pe charcha, beer pe baate. Okay. So and I am, I am, I am. We can do it at the sweet spot. At the sweet spot, yeah. Ah, yeah. That's yeah. the place. <laughs> we just renamed it. Correct, correct. So by, I am going to have Ashish as the first speaker talking about beer history in India. Because it is so fascinating. It is, it is really fascinating. What, what we are having the conversation. Last 30 minutes in my yes. car. It is absolutely fascinating. I mean, because yes. I came to you, Khadki, one glory. India, the old days. Oh, maybe the old one was glory. Oh, I mean, because 40 degrees are temperature. Ah, after that, just get cold. They won't taste much. See, one thing I would like to really mention here is John. Alcohol is not that openly accepted in Indian society. Absolutely. For someone like Jagannath to come from a village and brew. is a bold step in itself i mean yeah. telling people that i brew alcohol in rural parts of yeah. india is not something is, new is this not is this a prohibited is a prohibition in maharashtra no no so it is like maharashtra there is two districts chandrapur and i think vidarbha side vidarbha side not it okay so guys jal jal beers we should be pouring tomorrow starting at taj vanda and day after uh, we should be doing one more outlet i'll keep you guys posted sure And John's blog is someone yeah, something yeah. to follow all the time. <laughs> all right. We don't have to chat this beer now. What was that? There should be an app in. Oh, of course. Yes. There you go. John, this is yeah. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye from you. Goodbye from Kimaya. all of us here at Kimaya. John, this is your signature. Every video will end like this. Go ahead. Way to go, bro! Ah, happy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This was John Sweeney for India. Thank you, John. <laughs> All right, I'm signing off then. Bye bye.